Hi, I'm David Council from Inferno Marketing and Design, and this is another email update. Now in a moment, we're going to talk selling at Christmas. But before we do that, a quick reminder, if you know someone who could use some help with their advertising and marketing, then please put them in touch with us or us in touch with them. And at this time of year, everyone's trying to reach as many customers as they possibly can. So some people will be too busy to talk to us. We understand that. But if you do know someone, please let them know about us or let us know about them so that we can help them out. Um, and just for doing that, we'd like to send you a bottle of wine to say thank you. Might be a nice thing to enjoy with the family on Christmas Day. All right, speaking of Christmas, let's talk about selling at Christmas. Now, did you know that at Christmas time, Australians will spend $8.5 billion? It sounds like something out of Austin Powers. $8.5 billion dollars. Yeah, it's a lot of money. And in fact, one billion dollars of that will be money that's spent on gifts that people don't actually want. Seems a bit of a waste, really. Now, how do you find your share of the market when it comes to selling some stuff at Christmas and getting a share of that $8.5 billion? For example, some of the things that people will buy. Now, Obviously, there's males and females that we're talking about here. When you add these figures up, they're not going to add to 100% because I'm combining men and women. 57% uh, will purchase clothing. 53% will purchase toys. 41% will purchase books. Obviously, some people are purchasing more than one thing as well. 39% of people will purchase jewellery. 22% will purchase kitchen items. Oh, gee, I don't know how happy my wife would be if I purchased a kitchen item for Christmas. Perhaps one to avoid, fellas. 18% will purchase food for Christmas. Gift baskets, 15%, and electrical items, 8%. Beauty products, 35%. Cash, yes, the favorite gift of nanas all over the world is cash. 25% uh, will do that. Home decorations, 19%, and flowers, a mere 4%. But when do people buy presents as opposed to when do people look at presents? These are very important things when it comes to marketing your business at Christmas time. Let's look at the buying figures first. In October, 13% of people will actually be looking for gifts, while 9% of people will actually buy. However, when we click over into November, the number of people looking for gifts goes up to 24%, while the purchasing figure comes up to 23%. So lots of people are making purchases in November. When we slide into December, 16% of people are still looking in week one, but 20% of people are buying in week one. In week two of December, 6% of people are looking, but 11% of people are actually buying. And my favorite, the third week of December, where 10% of people are looking and 14% of people are still out there buying. Yep, those last minute people. Actually, we should do a survey and find out how many people are buying from service stations on their way to relatives' houses. That would be an interesting figure. So that then comes down to, when do you actually go to market with your advertising? I suppose it depends on whether you're looking for women or for men. So let's break the figures up. In October, 12% of women and 14% of men, the amount of the market that you're going to reach. However, in November, as you would imagine, coming off those looking and buying figures, 23 and 25%. So 23% of women, 25% of men are actually being influenced by advertising messages. When we slide into December, it's 18% of women and 14% of men in the first week. And in week two, 8% of women and 4% of men. So a big drop off in men in that second week. And in fact, men only increased to 6% in the third week while women are at 15%. And that defies logic sometimes because it's always men that get stereotyped as being leaving it to uh, the last minute when it comes to shopping. However, uh, when it comes to purchasing gifts, we'll look at that last week in December, 21% of women are still purchasing gifts in that third week of December. There is no doubt when it comes to advertising, it's the last couple of weeks of October, all of November, and the first two weeks of December are the weeks that you need to be focusing your big advertising spend to try and reach your customer group. If you've got questions about how to advertise to your customers when it comes to Christmas marketing, I'd love to have a chat to you about it, maybe give you some free advice, help you on your way. So give me a call at Inferno Marketing and Design. Our number is 03-623-44-588. I'm David Council. This has been another email update. I look forward to talking to you again soon.